can breathe. There is air in here. And it is so good. It was a good little plant. It was a good little plant. It is so adorable. Uh, I wish I had a real pet. Uh, when those nice little spiders would do the trick. Yeah, they're only small. I can keep a couple as a pet. Maybe a couple dozen. And then train them into my indefeatable army. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going insane. <laughs> oh, where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Dark Ravenick. I, I, I was a bit late on that waving thing. <laughs> and welcome back to Space Engineers. Last time we left off, we were building stuff like the um, vertical PAM. Now, I'm pretty sure it is vertical. I double checked, I triple checked, and I'm pretty sure it's vertical. So, yeah. And uh, what are we doing in this episode? I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm going to go and just quickly seal this place up, you know, so that way I can actually oxygenate the whole place. I um, Before I started recording, I spent an hour, two hours working on this. I eventually got it going. It was a bit of a... Yeah, <laughs> elevator music. It was a bit of a pain in the butt. And it's not still working pro Wait, now it's working pro Beforehand, when it get to the top floor, all these screens would just go white and weird and stuff. The way I got it working was basically, I, I kept getting problems with it, I'd build it and unbuild it and stuff like that. Nothing was working. I thought, what if I grabbed it, like, you know, put one here at the bottom here, then I put the speed, uh, the control speed thingamajiggy, then the vent, then the filler, and then the top. And that worked! Uh, so because there was nothing around there, I figured maybe that's what's wrong, but either way I'll do it in the, that exact order for down there. So I basically ripped everything up from around here, you know, because it seemed to act like it was its own grid whenever I checked it. You know, I'd check it and it's like, it's not visible on my grid, even though it's clearly connected to my grid. But yeah, I tore everything up, just built it from all the way up, and then it was working. So, yeah. Weird, I don't know what caused that. I also, um, well, obviously reorganized some things here because, you know, I had all this poking out here. I basically put a whole bunch of cargo containers here to replace the ones I tore out there and then put assemblers on them so that way I have tons of assemblers. Not sure if it's working with that build and repair script though because it was a little glitchy. They were having trouble building themselves and I followed the instructions for the build and repair script but it wasn't automatically putting stuff in the assembler so meh. Yeah, I figure. Oh, I also put some lights around here because it was awfully dark whenever I turned my lights off. So, you know, lights, they help, you know, make things nicer. Yeah, that's where I got my vent system now instead of there. So, yeah, what I want to do first thing would probably be to, you know, just seal this all up and oxygenate it so that way I actually have air in here. And then after that, I'm thinking. Maybe we can start working on that uh, spaceship, you know, so that way I can get up in space and uh, get myself some delicious, delicious stuff from space. Like uranium! I always wanted a little bit of radiation poisoning. It always tastes good in the morning on my toast. <laughs> yes, that sort of stuff. Platinum and uranium. The really good stuff. The high grade stuff. Stuff that you just can't live without. And if you're holding them in your hand, you probably can't live full stop. <laughs> okay, so first thing's got to go on is a floor. If I don't have a floor, then you know, don't have a floor and bad stuff happens. So I need a floor, otherwise bad stuff will happen. Oh, I should also get a vent. Oh, well, that's connected to the vent, but what's that? Ah. Anyway, uh, it's connected to the vent and stuff, but I should, you know, get a O2 generator around here to plug it in. So uh, I don't think I've got it in my list, so... O2. You're gonna go here and go oxygen tank. Yeah, up. Oh, this, this work in here? I don't know. I produce more when I'm in contact with sunlight. Okay, so it does work on the planet. I just had to double check, you know, because reasons. <laughs> so oxygen tank will go here and here and here. Three oxygen tanks, nice. And then we'll, uh... We'll, uh... Here we go. Pipe you to go that way. 
and that way. I'll only put two generators here. I don't think I need any more than that. And uh, you are that one. So boop and boop. Oh, perfect land. Nice. I wasn't expecting that. I was hoping for it, but I wasn't expecting it. And then boop, 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 and I don't know if I want it like that, but I'll put that there for now. See if I change it later. Okay, so next on the list is once again the floor. Always the floor. You can never forget the floor. Uh, I also probably want to get rid of some of this because it's in the way. It worked great. It's going to be a big empty space for now because, you know, I have no idea what I'm going to put in there yet. But, you know, that's easily solved by putting stuff in there later. Yeah? That's how logic works, right? <laughs> if it doesn't work at the moment, it'll work later. <laughs> well, you can never have enough big empty spaces, you know? They're always very useful. There we go. Wall one is up. Now we need wall two and then floor one and roof one. And, uh, floor, uh, wall three? Ah, I need walls and floors and roofs. Yeah. Hey! What if I, instead of doing a normal roof, I do a big glass one so I can see outside? That would be cool. Yes. I like the sound of that. I think I might need to get my, um, little miner out because this is taking a bit of a while to drill out, you know what I mean? Boop, uh, recharging off. Unlock. Lie downwards. Boop, boop, boop. And backwards. Cross back. Oh, cross back. Cross back. Cross back. Cross back. And okay, we'll line ourselves right up in the middle. Go back further. Go down. And then we just let it rip. Don't want to get too high. Okay, backwards, 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 backwards. Nice. Working splendidly. I think I'm too high already. Oh, the amount of damage I just did to this place. <laughs> it's terrifying. Ooh, that looks nice. I line myself up and I go up and then I crash into the roof. Good idea. Really need a better place for that. That is such a tight fit, yo. It's like, what was I thinking by putting that there, you know? I mean, it does kind of look cool the way it just dangles there waiting for you, but still, it's really a tight fit. You know, this area is really cool, you know? Have this all lit, uh, set up with, uh, glass and all that. I would, I wouldn't mind having this as, like, a space shuttle area, you know? It opens up and spacecraft take off. At the same time, I'm not entirely sure if this is actually wide enough to make a space shuttle landing and stuff like that because you know you got all these windmills and there's a very tight space and to land a space shuttle right in between here each and every single time seems a little on the risky side you know what I mean if I was to do something that, like that I'd probably pull it a bit away from my windmills like maybe maybe in the front here you know what I mean and have it permanently open so that way you know I can actually fl uh, pam it if I had enough uh Hydrogen and stuff like that. Pamming it would actually be pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to need like a maintenance door that's airlocked, so we'll put it about here. I don't know if it'll stay here, but you know, I can have one just around here for if. Well, I'm going to need maintenance, right? To get, you know, in between the walls for like things like the uh, air system and all that. There's nothing I can do about it. I really, really needed some way of getting in there. Should I keep that as like a big wall or should I make it like, you know, angled? Unsure about that one. Uh, put that like that. Maybe, uh, put you as, uh, do 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 one of these. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. Not really out of place. Too bad. I mean, I do have that backwards and forwards set up going. And I'm unsure about here. Do I want it just a flat, flat as attack, or do I want it, you know, in a, in a angled manner? I don't know. Flat as attack looks kind of cool, doesn't it? 
Yeah. I, I might actually keep it flat as a tank. Hey, I just thought of something. You know the way um, the uh, shield mod? It requires you to have your uh, shield generator on the outside. What if you build an actual room with uh, the moving armored blocks for it, if you know what I mean? So that way, you know, if you want the shield on, you know, it opens up and the shield pops up. But if you want it closed, you know, I mean, if you want the shield off, you know, you have it so it's closed. And then you get like a modded sensor to detect within, say, like a five kilometer radius or something like that. So that way, you know, the shields stay off, conserving power all the time. And then, you know, as soon as an enemy ship comes along, it opens up. That would be nifty. Ta-da! We should have everything sealed up down there now, nicely. Very nicely. Then all I need to do is air it all out. And it should be fine. Okay, so if we're going to oxygenate everything, we to figure out places for air vents that we want. Uh, actually, I should probably have air vent in my list. But either, either. Vent. Okay, now where would be a good place for it? Probably should get a vent mod, you know what I mean? But eh, Meh. I mean, I can figure out some way of doing this, you know, without making it look too janky. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I can put one up here for now. Nice and out of the way. Cover this whole room up. It's already connected and piped up. And I want one around here somewhere. Maybe say here? Yeah. I will go and put... Where is it? I, I'm pretty sure it's in my list. There it is. Okay, five. You go right. Uh... Doesn't matter. Same either way. Okay, so. I'm gonna go get this all nice and done. Okay, Mr. Event, you go in here. Where have I put you? Where did I put you? I can't remember where I put you. There you are. You go right here. And then we go up you. Put you here. Okay, and now we go there, 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 and finally we pipe it all together. Actually, while I'm here, I'll probably want a floor platform here just so I don't walk out in the void each time. There, all Star Wars like, a small platform on the end of the door. <laughs> And uh, we'll go... Hey, we can connect you right to there. Convenient. Almost there, and... Not that, you know, oxygen is going to come anytime soon because, you know, these aren't done, but you know what I mean. Getting all nice and prepared for when it is vacuum sealed. I just love calling it vacuum sealing. <laughs> and get a med bay and stuff in here soon. An actual proper full-size med bay. It'd be awesome. Don't know where I'll put it. I'll put it somewhere, obviously. Yay! Air vent up there. Nice and out of the way. Looks awkward, but hey, can fix things out later. I am considering you know, adding more uh, interior flooring along here where I've got this and stuff like that. I also went and built myself, uh, installed the uh, paint gun mod too, so that way I don't have any problems with painting because I realize that with things like this here, I can't actually paint underneath without removing floors and stuff like that. So by getting the paint gun mod installed, I can actually get into these little nooks and crannies without having to worry about it jamming in the way. But that's really frustrating. You know, once things are working fine down there, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with some of this stuff up here. Because, you know, I'm probably not going to need most of this stuff up here. Hmm. Maybe make a little, uh, shack. You know, like, remove this and turn it into a little shack with all this stuff in here that I enter and exit. You know, something that I don't really have to worry about oxygen and stuff. Or maybe I will put oxygen in it. I'm not too sure. Make sure the elevator isn't in it. Maybe, like, put blocks along the side here. Cut off some of these stuff along here that I don't need. 
You know, so that way I can still easily get in and out of the base while still getting in and out of the shack without any hassle. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. It's an idea for afterwards. I just want to see this seal for now. I want that delicious, delicious oxygen. Actually, how's my uh, ice supply? Ice. Phew, I actually have ice. I was worried because I had something like 40k. Cause I did a special trip in that little tiny one to go over to ice. But uh, I was a little worried it wasn't going to be enough to fill up those tanks. But I should have realized that even if I couldn't fill up the tanks completely, it still would probably be enough to fill up my base of oxygen, yo. Okay. How is those vents? Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> <gasps> I can breathe! There is air in here! And it is so good! And there's even plenty of natural light in here, so... I don't have to worry about my spotlight right now. My, you know, my headlights, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I can hear everything in here. Oh, look, I even have my face. My delicious, delicious female face. You haven't seen that since, well, I started on Mars. <laughs> and why did I call it my delicious, delicious female face? That's a strange thing to call it. <laughs> a very strange thing to call it. Now if I go in here, I die. Boop. Let's try it, try it anyway. Boop. That was a terrible place to be. Oh wait, if I'm inside that design, do I get hurt? Oh wow, I do get hurt inside it. Dang, gotta be careful with that one. And in here I should be fine. It's not until I'm upstairs that I die. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hijacked. Hi, Jack! Aha! So I'll have to think of stuff like, you know, the uh, med bays and stuff like that, but I got things going! I got air in there! It's awesome! Yes! Very awesome. And I have plenty of power too, so I don't have to worry about that for a while. Although if I want shields to get up, I really need that reactor going. And probably want to get, you know, those nice, delicious black solar cells. They would be really nice. Like replacing all of them with black solar cells would be a good idea, but uh, probably a good idea to also keep windmills up. I don't know. Hey, I wonder if they'll make a um, a black windmill mod, you know, like a, you know, the gold and black solar panels. You know, I wonder if they'll do a similar thing for the wind turbines. That would be freaking awesome. Cause these wind turbines are a bit on the small side. Imagine, you know, the giant big ones that you can find around the world, you know? They, they're they huge and they power so much. Have a few of them would be awesome. I just realized I didn't actually put anything around here for actually accessing anything. You know, like, so that way while I'm down here I could access my uh, refineries and assemblies and stuff. I'll have to figure something out for that, like maybe remove this and uh, put a there. <laughs> Put a cargo container there. That might be a good solution. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'll have to figure something out after, you know, when I start working in here again. Because I, at the moment, the only times I ever come down here is for, you know, doing the starting and ending clip. It is nice that I got air now, so, you know, I can show you the face. But, you know, I have actually no real logical reason for being down here at the moment. But I will eventually, I just... Not right now. I wonder how my gold is. Gold. Gold is... Yeah, it's slowly increasing. Very slowly increasing, but it is going up. I should check those holes, see how they're doing. Okay, how's this mess going down here? A little bit of gold, not much. Wow, that is a really thin amount of gold. Holy crap. Eee, no wonder why I'm not getting much gold, is it? Practically got nothing at all here. This feels a little on the awkward side though. The whole weird lighting and stuff. It's making me have trouble telling which way is up and which way is down. Oh, I can actually walk on here. Neat. Wow, that went in so far, didn't it? <laughs> I really should have got better cargo containers on that thing. <laughs> nice size hole. Oh yeah, I made that one myself and this one is my ship. 
Well, it's starting to get gold too, which is also a very thin line. But it's definitely getting plenty of silver. Holy crap, it's again plenty of silver. Don't think I need any more silver. Maybe I should tell my ship to, you know, not bring so much back. I should tell it to restart its next job, but shorter. Uh, how deep is that silver? Silver is about 75, so we'll go to 70 or so deep. Then that gold is, uh, how deep? Gold is a, we'll say, get to about 55 meters deep, yeah. I just realized something. I built those, you know, oxygen tanks. Didn't think of building some hydrogen tanks, because I'm definitely going to need them if I'm going to be having a spacecraft flying around, eh? Whoops. This setup is so nice. I love that they put, you know, screens on these things. I mean, that, you know, the other one had a really nice screen I set up, you know, but just not having to put it on is nice too, you know? You get to look around, have some fun, watch some interesting videos. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> wait, wait, what's going on? Uh oh. Oh, oh, thank God. I'm like, what's that? What happened? Oh, wait, it's doing it again. Stop it. Hey, what's this? <gasps> I hope you're not dangerous. You're big. You're so big. <laughs> okay, set ourselves up for 55 meters instead. There we go, and now start new job. Boop. Now we'll go back to the start again, but eh. Oh, 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 forgot all about that gravity thing. It's a very important step to take, yo, know, gravity. Don't want to miss it. This hole is so huge. So is that. Now it should cut itself off before it reaches the silver and just after the gold. So let's go to this ledge and see where it cuts itself off at. Should stop about here before going to the next lane. Yep, perfect. Doesn't get down to silver and just passes gold. Nice. How much has it filled up just from that? It's filled up 2%. Okay. Okay, you're moving away from me. Which direction? I don't know. Maybe that direction? I don't know. You know what would be something cool to do? Instead of building a rocket to space, build a rocket with some bombs on the end. <laughs> that way next time something gets a little on the... Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> next time something gets a little on the... Oh my god, is it coming my way side, yo? It's like, yeah, you're coming my way, huh? I'm just gonna send this rocket right into your thrusters and knock you down. Your parts will be mine. <laughs> or maybe just, you know... Oh, wait, and where am I? Whoops. <laughs> or maybe just download one of those, um... Uh, blueprints for, you know... Self-creating rockets, you know? And then have them auto-aim and stuff like that, so that way I don't have to manually do it all. That'd be cool too. Like build a couple of them and launch them all at once. <laughs> I swear it looks like he's going up. Into the sky, you know, up further. Not forwards or left or right or anything, but actually up. Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to leave orbit or something? Yeah. Hopefully he runs out of fuel and drops. <laughs> That'd be nice too. Because <laughs> he ain't exactly moving fast, is he? And, you know, he looks like he's going up. So he's got to run out of fuel eventually. And then he's mine. <laughs> okay, what I want to do, I won't be able to finish it this episode. I would like to actually start on that rocket to get into space. Now, I was considering maybe building the area for it first, you know, down in the ground, but I'm like, you know what, I don't know how big this rocket's going to be. It's best just to make the rocket first and then make the area. That seems like a better idea. Now, how do I want to do this rocket? Last time I actually made it shaped like an actual rocket. Do I want to do that again? Hmm. Maybe I want to make it more like an actual vehicle instead of like a rocket hmm oh maybe i could build a large craft like that like 
Like, 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 uh, do I still have it? Whoop, not that. <laughs> not that button. <laughs> it's this button, yeah. Ah. Oh, do I have it? Uh, do, 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 do. uh, you still here? The Hydro Tug. Uh, what do you have in you? So I, I know this could definitely get into space. It's got more than enough hydrogen. Uh, it, I don't know what's inside of it at this moment. You know, like what parts? Like, do I have enough platinum and stuff? I don't know about that part. But something like this could get me up into space and it has cargo. Not much, but, you know, it's designed for large loads. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I mean... This seems a little eh, when I could, you know, go make a new one, you know, something that's not something that's been seen before. Hmm. But maybe making a large ship might be the better solution, you know? I mean, I do have practically limitless resources. And, well, I know that, ah, uh, what is it, four or five hydrogen tanks in each nacelle should do the trick. I just, you know, a little limit on the hydrogen. Yeah, but you know, that's not too much of a problem, you know? It's like, yeah, three oxygen supplies down there, I ain't gonna cut it. But, well, you know, I can just, just, you know, set things up here and work at it. Hmm. So I got to, do 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 You. And I put you, say, we'll move you a little out of the way. Say here, shall we? Ooh, wait, am I actually in range of the build and repair? That's a good question. I might need to build another one a little um, closer to that and on fly mode. Uh, click you and uh, where is your show radius? Okay, so what is this? Whoa, okay. I'm probably definitely going to need to build an actual another one over here if I want to do this. That is a big radius though, holy crap! It actually looks kind of cool. I feel like I'm all boxed in. You know what? I can't... Build and repair would require conveyors, so instead I should just... Put these down to actually show my area where I can build. If I exceed past these, then i got problems. Yeah, that seems like a better idea. Okay, that should be enough space to build it in, right? If I can't fit it in there, then I got problems. Okay, let's uh, start it out on a platform. Yeah. Because I'm going to need to actually sit it up. I don't know how bad things will be if I don't. I rotate you around that way and then that way. And we'll get you on just nicely. There. Okay. Now we'll tell this to go into fly mode. Uh, fly. Boop. Nice. Max required input, 12 kilowatts. Which I luckily have plenty of, thanks to all of these. How tall do I want this? Uh, let's just... Do we say that tall? I don't imagine needing it to go too tall, right? Okay, but how wide do I want this on the inside, though? Hmm. I do it say that wide. Doesn't give me much room to play with. Okay. If I had like a large cargo container in the middle, I'd have side, side, large cargo. But this will go up slightly more, right? Giving me a bit more room, maybe. I could do it like that. Yeah. Okay. That leaves me with... Oops. There. And... Wait. How am I not having gravity problems? I mean, gravity does affect things, right? Unless that's locked in. Oh wait, 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 whoops, 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 whoops. My mistake. <laughs> Will putting cargo containers here actually properly seal it? I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, they won't, they won't. Uh, 
How will I properly seal this? I mean, I could say... Grab you. Uh, grab you. Put you there. Like so. And then grab you. And put you like so. That would work. Keep it all nice and sealed. Yeah. At the moment, it's looking exceedingly similar to my other thing that I got. <laughs> this time, I'll put three. Which still leaves me with plenty of space. Nice, nice. This thing's going to be massive. I'm not entirely sure if it'll be able to fit with that build and repair thing. I think I'm going to have a lot of weight and I'm going to need to actually put a bit more hydrogen tanks in this thing. Yeah. But then again, the other one, you know, despite everything, you know, it was able to actually lift an entire other craft, so maybe I'll be fine. You know what I'm thinking of doing to this? Adding some big drills to the front. Not the, uh, you know, giant one. I don't think that'd be a good idea because that thing weighs a ton. You know, some of the tier drills, you know. But I can start off with a couple of small ones and work my way up to the bigger ones because, you know, I need, I think I need platinum for those. That would go all right. Yeah. Have those running in it. And we could do a whole ton with them. You know, just uh, like if I can get enough platinum and stuff for the like tier four ones, probably only need four to cover this whole thing, you know? Then just have this fly, uh, fly up and down into space getting platinum and stuff. <laughs> and of course, like I said, you know, you r quickly run into problems with, you know, hydrogen and stuff like that. But at a certain point, I can retrofit this for, uh, for reactor power and run your bigger, your know, normal thrusters and stuff. Which means that I'll probably want to extend this out a little further. For a, an empty space for a reactor. A nice big reactor. Yeah, now I got a spot for a reactor for when I want one. Have a walk space here. Reactor space. Ooh, it's gonna be pretty big. Definitely gonna need some thrusters and stuff, you know, some heavy duty thrusters. Oh boy, this thing's massive. I hope I have enough resources for this. Get the feeling I'm going to have to start looking again some more of that nickel and cobalt and stuff. Because, yeah, this is a big project that's underway. Now, at the moment, it's looking very boxy. But as I got, you know, the uh, walls and stuff more sorted out, I'll start reshaping it to make it a little uh, softer and not so, well, boxy. At the moment, I'm trying to figure out my placement of items, you know, because I need a few cargo containers. I'm going to need a space for a reactor. I'll need oxygen and hydrogen, not so much, but, you know, definitely oxygen. My O2 generators and maybe an O2 tank or two. I'll have plenty of hydrogen tanks, you know, so that's not a problem. Maybe have a refinery or two in here that I'm not too sure about I know the other one I managed to get a couple of refineries on top didn't I so maybe I will get some refineries in here it's a bit iffy maybe I could like uh, put one here and one on the other side and have it so that way you can walk right up on top of them and over and that might be a good idea that means I'd have to stretch the underneath out a little more hmm that actually sounds like a really good idea actually so if I was to say uh Go okay, remove you, you. Uh, these are four, right? So you, 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 uh, you, and you. Okay, so now we replace these with uh, yield modules. There you go. Throw you down there. Boop, 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 and 
boop. We get the refinery in here. Okay. Now we get the pipes in. So you go like so. There. And then we uh, make it so that way we can walk on top of this. Not too sure about this. Maybe only one refinery, you know? Two might be a little bit iffy. And yes, I told you the other one had two of them on the top, but you know, that was shoved on top. Or is this on the inside? And it's going to be consuming a lot of inside space. So this one's probably better go one side and the other's a fine walkway, you know? Yes, yeah, so I'll be able to walk right over that refinery without any hassle. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So, so far, this looks like it's going to be perfectly sealed up. Space for a big reactor. So I don't have to worry about power loss. I'll definitely have, you know, plenty of hydrogen tanks. Gonna need O2 generators. I'm going to put them up here. I'll have to have a lot of thrusters or, you know, some high powered, you know, tiered thrusters. Maybe tier level two or something like that. Hmm. But that would be a little awkward, wouldn't it? I use tier two thrusters because, you know, that means, you know, they get smaller and you get less thrusters and it would look a little strange having less thrusters on this thing. Hmm. That is something I guess I'll have to find out later how I want to do it. Yes, this is going to be very big, a lot bigger than the other one, I guess. But it's also going to be very useful. It's I, it's most certainly going to be able to get out of the atmosphere. Unless, of course, I miscalculate something and it just plummets to its death, which would be highly amusing. <laughs> okay, I just remembered that for this, I'm going to need actually a way to get into the nacelles, right? So, you know, with my hydrogen and stuff, so I had to put that there so that way I know where to put the nacelles. Yeah, because if I don't do that, then how do I get hydrogen and stuff into them, you know? I could put it higher, but, you know, this is already a little on the cramp side up here. Eh, I could also put it on the roof, but eh, I'll put it there, you know. I have to put it on like, the other side too, same spot. Uh, that would be, you know, also adding a little bit of a walkway this side, but not as bad as the other side, you know. Yeah, this thing's going to be huge and it's going to be awesome. Aha! This is going great! We have oxygen in here. I can show my face without choking to death. It's awesome! <laughs> got that elevator working, which was a real big pain in the butt. But now we've got the giant mothership. Which uh, I'm still not entirely sure how well it's going to run in efficiency wise. So I don't know if it's going to be pammed or not. But that is something I would really like to do to it, you know, pam it up. It's going to be awesome if I manage to do that, but, you know, I don't know yet. We'll see how that goes. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. You hit that like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Bye! Space. Like uranium. I always wanted a little bit of radiation poisoning. It always tastes good in the morning on my toast. <laughs> yes, that sort of stuff. Platinum and uranium. The really good stuff. The high grade stuff. Stuff that you just can't live without. And if you're holding them in your hand, you probably can't live full stop. <laughs>